Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we I'm going to be doing my For Fun Friday piece. This is strictly for me. I have a bit of a plan, which I don't normally do. I'm not a big planner. I'm trying really hard to get better at that because I think it'll help me in the long term. Personally, professionally, all that jazz. So, what we have out right now is the piece that I did, it is a mixed media piece. I did it whilst watching TV uh, last month. I didn't date it. Last month, January. Um, it's March now, so a couple months ago. And this one has been in my brain to redo on a larger scale in a little bit of a different way. So this is my inspiration piece and it's going to sit here. I did... I did draw it, now this is the final iteration, I did, you can see it's, I started sketching on this piece, can you tell, I'm, I, there it is, you can tell, I erased it, I will use this piece for uh, something else, but I wanted this to be a clean piece, I needed to lower his head, because I really wanted the antlers to be completely within the frame of the picture, so, I traced <laughs> the um, previous drawing and then used the tracing to lower him, finish the drawing, and then lower him and put him within the frame of, of where I want him to be. I also have this piece out that I did for inspiration. So this one is also going to be just kind of floating around over here. I might pick it up and look at it again. I might not. We'll see. I have out an array of supplies because I'm not sure what I want to use. I have out my Derwent Graphitense because they're awesome. They granulate really nicely. And these are the colors that we have in, in here. They're amazing. I have dedicated, promised myself that I would try to utilize more of my watercolor palettes. I have so many of them and if you haven't watched my all my watercolor palettes video yet it's it's in the playlist. I have out an array of can you see this guy? The, nope. This is my top drawer of my pencils and charcoal Conti crayons. Let's see. For those of you that don't know what some of this stuff is, these are Conti crayons. This selection here, this selection here, these. I also have uh, charcoals in black, gray, and white. Some a set of uh, pastels that came in an art box. These are actually a, a name brand pastel. I don't remember what brand though. And then a collection of charcoal pencils that came in art boxes. That's what this drawer is. I pulled it out, set it aside, and it's there if I want to use it. I'm definitely going to use these guys. My Caran d'Ache crayons. I want the big set so bad. Um, I have out my plate. I don't know if I'll use this, but my plate of indigo, doxazine purple, and a green. I think it's thalo, but I'm not sure. I put this out to do a big turtle painting and it's been sitting over there. It got a little dusty. I rinsed it off today. I played with it um, <clears throat> earlier today. We can move the phone out of the way. Core colors because they're beautiful and I love them. So we have water, spritzer, brush, palette, pen. Starting with the pen. Because this, I'm envisioning this piece as pen, ink with other mediums over the top and I might change the antlers we'll see we shall see but this is a Derwent uh, line maker 0 0.5 in black it's a really nice pen I got it in my, one of my art snacks boxes that I purchased this year I'm gonna start with the eye and really get that in there the way I want it now most of these lines that are on here 
or decisions made while doing this. Transferring from this to this. Um, kind of a fantastical piece. I'm not real interested in creating a realistic animal. And this is, what watercolor paper is this? I should probably tell you guys that. I'll link everything down in the comments below too. Everything that I utilize. Union Square 10 by 14 cold press 140 pound watercolor paper. I oh, got carried away a couple of years ago and I bought a hundred dollars worth of watercolor paper from Jerry's Artorama, I believe, or yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Jerry's. And uh, I've been whittling my way through it. I'm getting down there. But that's what this is from, from my, my, I want to try different watercolor papers because Arches is so expensive. I, I like Arches, it's all right, it, but I can't justify the cost, man. And I've been thinking about this piece off and on since I did that piece. And I've been talking about it, so I figured I might as well just, I might as well, right? Throw it down, see what happens. See if I like it when it's done. And I don't know if you've ever seen or looked up um, or been to Hawaii. Uh, they have rainbow trees there. The bark of the tree is actually rainbow colored. You should totally look them up. Google it. I'm not even lying. I have pictures of me standing next to the rainbow tree somewhere. But I see his antlers as rainbow tree bark. So that's, that's what's been stuck in my head this whole time. I did this guy got all done with him and then that's all I could envision was he'd look so cool as a bigger piece with rainbow tree bark for antlers. So that's what I'm going to attempt to convey today. And I haven't put anything dark around the eye because I'm not sure what way I want to go with that yet. I mostly just want to get in the line work. and get rid of the graphite. I used tracing paper to get them on here because I didn't want to tear off, this is a watercolor block too by the way, I didn't want to tear off my my page to trace them so I used uh, tracing paper in. Oh, for transfer paper. You know that black carbon paper? Which I honestly didn't think I would ever use. But I kind of use it a lot. Sweeping line there. I'm so digging this right now. Alright. Stop admiring and keep going. <laughs> Sir, thank you. This line down. And this w was just an instinctual drawing. I, w I didn't really... I was going by how it feels for me. Not really concerning myself with realism, clearly. I'm gonna make rainbow tree antlers for God's sake. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be 
be so much fun. I can't wait. Good. Are we digging it? Should I scoot them up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing? Maybe I should zoom in now that you know what all I have out for supplies. Pull that camera down. Let's see if I can pull it forward without knocking the table over. <laughs> there we go. Zoom out a squish. There. Now we're in. Now we're in. This paper is textured, so it is picking up a nice, I, I like the texture of, of the paper. It is more textured than the, um, the B paper that I use, or even the Arteza one that I picked up. That one's actually not very textured at all. Which I expected it to be because I've picked up Arteza watercolor paper in the past. They must have changed how they make their paper because it's actually enjoyable to use now. And when I got it, when it first became available, thinking, oh, nice, you know, finally I can afford uh, some different fun watercolor paper to use. And it turned out to be super rough and it didn't take the take watercolor very well and I was very displeased with it in a general sense but I got a big pad of it um, at Michael's on sale uh, around just before Christmas last year excuse you and um, yeah I'm, I'm kind of digging it now Are we liking that? I am really liking that. Alright, this is, this is, so far, <laughs> it is turning out exactly how I wanted it to. I feel like if the paper doesn't dry, I'm going to smudge my um, previously drawn stuff. I'm digging this. I'm digging it. I'm changing up the tips of all the antlers too. I want them to be um, actually right there. Yeah, that's what I want. I want them to look a little broken on the tips, like broken tree branches. Is the thought pattern there? That could change later, we'll see. We shall see.
that might get changed later. We'll see. I'm kind of digging it, and then at the same time, I'm not. Sorry, that's super quiet. I was really assessing the, this situation up here. <laughs> oh, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure how I was going to do that. Alright. Sorry, I did not mean to get so quiet. Th that's what happens though when you're, when you're processing. I was really thinking about how I was going to make this work. Okay. And you couldn't even see what I was doing. I'm so sorry. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, squish. All right. Sorry. This whole section gave me a little bit of grief. Moving on to this side. And, and got a hair on there. I shed like a furry puppy dog. That's ridiculous. Okay. That's, that's the antler blocked in. I don't know that I want to change the top of that one at all. Anybody have any thoughts about the, the line art and the direction it went? And I'm interested to know what you would do differently. I am going to provide... Um, I'm going to provide the outside lines for this piece in a PDF for you guys to, to trace and create your own version. I would love to see what you come up with. Um, maybe you change the antlers up altogether. Maybe you don't do rainbow tree antlers. Perhaps maybe... Um, how's that looking? I, I love, I love it. I love it! <laughs> I'm gonna do... Both directions. You know what I started watching tonight? That, uh... Now I'm probably gonna have to pay for HBO Max again. <laughs> um... Raised by Wolves? Have anybody heard of it? It's interesting. It is interesting. I, I it, it, it caught my eye a while ago, and I was like, no, I don't think I want to go down this road. And then I didn't realize that it was a sci-fi show, and I didn't realize that, because I watch all the sci-fi, you guys, all of it. Um... I honestly didn't think it was 
as cool as it's turning out to be. But it is. Put a crack right there. Maybe. I watched, I am not paying for HBO right now because I was paying for way too much TV I wasn't watching. So I, you have it, but you can watch things with commercials. It's still an app on my TV. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd give Raised by Wolves a shot thinking it was going to be one of those ones you get to watch with commercials. It's not. I was bummed. So I might have to get HBO Max again. I actually really like HBO Max. I just, um, I don't watch as much TV as I thought I did. <laughs> Are we done with the line stuff? I think, I think I'm going to stop with the, the liner right there. Or stop. Stop. And I think I'm going to put in a background with the graphitense because I want the background to be muted but textured and cool looking and the graphitense lend themselves to that quite nicely so I think I'm going to go ahead and wet in the area here between the the two antler situation. Ooh, that's too much water. There I go again. Way too much water. And if you don't wait for your ink pens to dry before you get in here and put water down, they will move around a little bit on you. Um, just so you're aware. And this block of paper that I'm using is not quite up to the standard of Arches blocks. It does buckle a bit if you use too much water, and I tend to use too much water. Okay, let's pick colors. <clears throat> Ooh, cheese and rice. Let's do, I really like this autumn brown color. I think it's really pretty. So we're gonna drop it in. let it do its thing. Isn't it gorgeous? It's just such a pretty color. And these like to move around too. They, they like to whoosh a little bit and blend on the paper and they create amazing textures. Like super amazing textures. Pick up the pace a little bit because I would prefer this didn't dry before I got this all in here. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of, come on, let's get some more, really drop it in there. Okay, and some of this meadow green, maybe, here and there. They interact nicely together. Comes out. Kind of bleed that out. Put a little more of this in here. Why not? Why not? So you can already see the really cool textures going down. Um, I feel like I should zoom in to where I'm at here. Let's reposition the camera a bit. There we go. I can see it a little better. 
a little bit better. What do you guys think of these these two colors together? When this dries, it gets a little pink, which is super pretty. More of that pure meadow down there. I don't mind it overlapping the antlers a touch. Not that much. <laughs> Let's get between here. There we go. A little bit of the autumn brown. Don't, don't want a hard line right there. Which is why I moved up there. Don't want a hard line. Not there anyways. And then drag this autumn brown around a little bit right here. Do I like that? Oh, I'm so digging it. I, I'm digging it. I've been itching to do a for fun piece for a while, and I waited too long, so here we are. Does anybody else do, like, strictly just pick something you want to paint or create or whatever and just do it just because? Because that's what this is. This is my just because I want a piece. Yeah, I am digging that. There's a little bit. My camera turned off on me. Rude. Give me my bag. A little puddle of water right here that I don't want to be there. And then a bit of white paper that I don't want to be there as well. There we go. Better. Better, better. Drop in a little bit of green. Blends a bit. Yes. Love it. Anybody else having fun? I'm having so much fun right now. I love to mix colors on the paper. Let's see what they'll do. Um, usually I put it in the background and then do the line art on top. I am not quite sure why I didn't do it that way this time, honestly. That's my normal. I, I have a few um, learning things that I'm doing this year. I have several sketchbooks that I'm filling up this year. And uh, the method to the madness is I would like to get better at gouache. Um, and I would like to get better at um, life drawing, humans, and I want to get better at, um, well, drawing animals, but I'm, I, I really like drawing animals, so that's just an excuse to continue drawing animals. But I have one dedicated to animals and learning, like picking an animal a month, and that's, that's the animal that we concentrate on for the month. And um, what else? I have one dedicated to let's do some drops of water here and there. Okay. I have my big newsprint one, which I'm working on my big project in. I am doing a big, big, big mermaid piece. Uh, that I'm hoping will be done by the end, at, like by May. I want everything done and filmed and ready to put up for Mermaid. Um, I, I keep saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry. I, I catch myself, and when I'm editing, I'm like, stop saying um. 
You're making me crazy. So I apologize for that. I'm aware. I'm working on it. Alright, and then let's see. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the bottom of the painting. Because there's no more room on the table to move it around. Otherwise, I would just move it around. But back to the sketchbooks. I have a big newsprint and geez, I have a almost two inch pile of bead drawing paper that I bought on sale at the art store last year. Last year? Yeah, just after Christmas last year that I'm going to pull out tomorrow and work on my mermaid um, ideas. Like, because I want to create a bunch of individual pieces that support the big piece. They are within and um, part of the, the larger piece, but I need to do them individually so that I'm... That's just my plan. That's my plan of action. Uh, I don't know if I like that right there. Do I like that right there? Kind of and kind of not. Let's blend it up a little bit. Okay. Alright, that's the background. Do we dig it? Does anybody else hate it? I really like it. I think it looks awesome. Look at all those granulating colors. Creating so much great texture. And it's soft and it's going to dry it's slightly muted because it has... It's pure color that has tin, uh, graphite in it. So it'll dry like, like it does on here. A little muted. Which is so nice. And I love the indigo. And the juniper is really nice too. Or right, let's face it, I just like them all. <laughs> mm. Alright, so we got a little bit of splooshing going on. A little bit of on the antlers. But I'm alright with that. I feel like I should take a photo of where I'm at. Take a photo. We're doing this we're doing this live and in color, you guys. You get to be here for all the chaos. And out. And here's where we're at so far. Ta-da! Ah! And a picture of that pile of stuff over there. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to move my tracing out of the way so that I don't ruin it because I want to create the line work for you guys from it. And I could incorporate him into other things, too. He's pretty cool. I'll dig it. Now let's go in with some... Let me move this pen out of the way. I don't want to put everything away that I'm using, though, because I'll forget that I'm using it. Alright. We're going to drop in some color. Uh, how do we want to do this? Because... I have multiple things of water out. This is my dirty water. And then I have uh, clean water. And then the white bowl is pure, like, clean, clean water. So that I can... So I don't have to get keep getting up and getting clean water, basically. That's what that's all about. I'm going to drop in some core colors on here. Hopefully they won't whoosh out too far. I'll try and keep them centralized because this is still pretty wet. Let's see, what, what, what colors do we want to use? The golden green is really nice. Let's, let's grab some of that. We'll put it right here so you guys can see it. Can you see that? Yeah. The golden green. It looks super green in the palette, but it does get gold. It's really pretty. Just drop it down here and there. Maybe we won't mind this one bleeding out. 
Maybe it'll look super cool and pretty. There, okay. There's the golden. Maybe some... Mm, let's get a reference photo. I, <clears throat> I purposely pulled up... Oh, I already have it open over here. Some different, like an array of... I keep swinging my brush around. It's really wet of different trees so that I could see the different colors that are in them and how they blend. So we're going to go ahead and throw in some orange like that. Let it do its thing. Maybe a little more of this. Yeah. Okay. Dig that. Are we digging it? Oh, we're gonna make this pop too. I know it looks like it's blending right now, but we're totally gonna make it pop, you guys. No worries. Let's put some of this cobalt teal in here. <laughs> Talk about making it pop. Let it whoosh down. How's that look? I'm kind of digging it. All right, maybe right here. And right there a little bit. A little thin glaze right there. How's he looking? Does he look cool? I hope he looks cool. I'm gonna do some orange. here. Try not to overlap the colors too much because I would like them to be super pure. More bright than um, a mess. Than not. We have other supplies out that we can incorporate too so I'm not too terribly worried. Let's get some teal over here. that maybe Ooh. Um, right here and right here kind of along the bottom and then some more yellow I love it all right, let's do the other one. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm having a great time, you guys. I hope that you are too. I hope that this isn't boring for you. I can hear my clock tick, tick, ticking. Um, I hope that's not bothersome to anybody. It does usually bother me quite a lot. I purposely don't have ticking anything in my bedroom because that noise just makes me over time makes me a little edgy. Anybody else have noises that just trigger the aggravation response? For me, any kind of repetitive tick, 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 tap, 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 you know, when people tap their foot or their pencil or anything like that. Woo! Send me over the edge, man. I have, for, you know, in a public setting, you control those things, but when you're home. <laughs> grab this green. We'll start like we did the last time. Grab our green and this green gold. Just plop it in. Yeah, so satisfying. Get a little bit on each spot. Get our. This is transparent pyrrole orange right here. This is the. This isn't all the cobalt colors. I have um, the high chroma set, which is up here, these six, and then the earth set, which is these six right here. They're all beautiful colors. Um, 
to my mind. I love them. I think they're great. I feel like we should. Oh, I'll wait to do that. We'll wait to do that. Do another layer, right? And don't get excited and overdo. There. There. And a little more. There. Are we digging it? I think so. Alright, now our cobalt tail. A little more. Okay. And, ooh, I like that. Got it on the outside. You stay contained, dang it. This one too. I think we are. Got carried away. Carried away. A little pure color here and there. Why not? How's that looking? I'm getting too crazy. Too crazy. Let's find this part. And then we'll stop and take a look see at where we're at. Are we enjoying where we're at so far? Check it out. See how it light light it gets once it once it starts drying? So maybe we'll go in with a little more color, really play that up a bit here and there. Green gold. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Let's blend this out a bit. I don't want to get too married to this because I do have other textures and other things that I want to put on here to really make things pop. How's that looking? Are we liking it or are we hating it at this phase? Make a note. There we go. Alright, I'm going to stop fussing with the antlers and let them dry completely. And then his body. Let's make his body. I do enjoy this Naples yellow more than I thought I would. Kind of a soft, like buttery color. And since the background and the antlers are so busy, I think I would like to keep him a little, um, a little calmer. Not a lot, 
but a little. A little, little. I'm going to go ahead and block him in in this maple's yellow color. And then we'll make decisions later about what we want to do to make him sparkle and shine. Does he need to sparkle and shine further? We won't know till we get there. Okay, let's grab some more. It's just a really great color. And where it overlaps with the background, it's it's not undesirable, right? It's not a bad thing. Like that. Water. Put that down here. Got the wrong dang color. Mess up the whole painting. It won't. This is the kind of piece that um, I don't feel like I can mess up really because I'm doing so much on it. Kind of like these mixed media pieces. I just keep going until I'm satisfied and then I stop. It's the stopping part that's hard. Because <laughs> doing those was so fun. There's a whole collection of them. I don't think, I didn't um, video doing those either. I was just watching TV and enjoying my the process of creating, which I need to do sometimes. I think we all do, to turn off the camera and just create for the sake of creating, to just play for play's sake and really enjoy the process but then when I got all done with it I was like oh man I totally should have recorded these these look great this was awesome fun to do and it was um, strictly a matter of I had a bunch of cards these cards that came in an art box I believe they're mixed media cards and um, I created a bunch of ink backgrounds on them well you kind of can't put watercolor on dried dried ink, not the India ink anyways. So I think I want to do a little bit of like maybe Venetian red. Ooh, yeah, all right. Ooh, a couple of dots of that right there. I like that. I like where it's going. I dig it. All right. Alright. Anybody else excited about this? <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit here. Not too much. And then I think... Oh, so fun. This is so fun. Alright. Is anybody else having fun? I truly hope that you guys will um, take the line art and create a piece of your own and share it on socials. I'd love to see what you come up with. Because this is, I mean, just grab all your stuff and, you know, play. Play, play, play. How's that? I love that. That's, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alright, let's put a little bit of transparent brown oxide. Play with all the colors today. Why not? It's a little more orangey, which is not bad. Not a bad thing. We'll just throw it in here and there. Okay, see what I'm doing? There we go. Yay! <laughs> Alright, super cool. Um, I don't want to leave the ear completely white like that. So I'm going to use the water and just kind of smooch the, the watercolor around. Or the eye. There. That's better. That's better, better. 
What's this color? This is green. This is a uh, sap green. I have no idea why I'm doing this. Just cause. That, that's all I got for you. So if you're asking why is this nose sap green? Cause. Cause. In my world, this cool, crazy looking deer creature has a sap green nose. Mmm. The paper's still pretty wet, so this is moving around quite nicely. And as I said before, core colors like to move. They like to blend and and spooge and go and do their thing, you know, rebels. Rebels. Put a little bit right here. Hmm. Mmm. Digging it. Cool. Let's put a little bit on this side. I did, I did say I wasn't going to make him a bunch of colors, right? <laughs> I lied, clearly. I'm in the throes of it, y'all. In the throes. This is called Creation Chaos. And it's beyond fun. I highly recommend it. Okay. Should we introduce maybe a little bit pure. Alright, I'm going to go in with color. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Totally digging it. Good, good. I was a little afraid I wouldn't like that. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of the indigo. I'm just throwing all the colors at this piece. All the colors. I'm going to put the indigo on top of the green right here. Looks kind of cool. Mmm. So satisfying. Stop picking. Stop picking. Naples yellow. Mm, yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Does anybody else catch themselves making weird noises while creating? <laughs> I just heard myself go, mmm. <laughs> so silly. Okay. I'm a little silly, y'all. It's part of my nature. Look how beautiful he is. <laughs> oh, I'm so enjoying myself. All right. I think, let's scooch that back out of there a little bit. Do you see that traveling without my knowledge? Didn't say you could do that, sir. Alrighty. Thinking 
carbonation. Do we like that? Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. This is Venetian red, yes? Yes. Which is a color I did not think I was going to like either, but I am so enjoying it tonight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you guys like it? Or are you not a fan? I think I enjoy it quite a lot. A little bit right here. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. I don't want to ruin my green spots because I like them so much. Let them kind of bleed into that Naples yellow. That's pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Nuts in a basket. Got outside the lines. Outside the lines. Just open that out. Ta da! Never happened. <coughs> I'm thinking maybe a glow, a glow of Naples right here on the bottom. For now. Alright. I feel like, I feel like I should, this is that sap green again, really get over here and make some life choices already. Because honestly this is the kind of piece that you could pick at and tweak and push and blend until the paper falls apart, which is not ideal. You don't want the paper to fall apart, but that is what could easily happen with this piece. Just keep working on it and working on it until, you know, four or five hours goes by and no one's watching your YouTube channel anymore. Because <laughs> they're just fed up with your shenanigans. Is that too bold? <laughs> Is there such a thing? Uh, probably. I am digging how it's pl the colors are playing together though. A lot, a lot. Anybody else? Really liking how the colors are playing together. Let's grab some green. Go over here. Create a little green chaos. Why not? Maybe not quite so dark. Little Naples. Put it in there. Touch Venetian.
Don't want to do that back here though. Quite so dark, anyways. How's that? If I like that mark right there, blend it out. <clears throat> good, 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 good. Maples. All right, I feel like we should let it dry completely before I do anything else. So for tonight, I'm going to stop. I'm gonna leave everything where it is. Probably gonna get fresh water in the morning because I'm on um, a five day break and tomorrow is my fifth day. No, tomorrow's my fourth day. It's Thursday tomorrow. So we'll play some more tomorrow and I hope you guys will, well, it'll probably be like couple seconds for anybody that's stuck around this far. At any rate, I'll see you in a hot minute and we'll continue on. Hi guys, I was adjusting lighting. I am ready to finish this painting. I have coffee, which we're going to hover precariously over the art. <laughs> mm. And I love all the colors. Now this is a watercolor block but it is not taped down on this side. So it, it did fold up a bit right there, but for the most part, it's flat. And look at, look at all these textures and beautiful colors, how wonderfully they dried. And I like how the, the, that tealy color looks shiny. I dig it. My eye looks like it's shining at us. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and finish up today with uh, finishing touches. I don't know if I want to do a lot more to it, but I definitely want to do some of my crayons on it because uh, the paper is pretty textured. So I would like some of that texture to read. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not going to put this everywhere, obviously, but let's do yellow. Oh, yeah. That makes that pop right there. I like it. These are Caran d'Ache um, Neo 2. Let's see, where is it? Our Neo Color 2 Aquarelle Water Soluble Wax Pastels. Um, you can wet these down if you want to. And where's my brush? I got clean water too. Everything's a disaster. I had to adjust for lighting and I moved everything around so. Let's just pull things back into frame. There we go. But you can wet these. Ooh, all right. And drag them around if you want to. 
Alright, I did that. I don't know how long they take to dry. Hopefully not too long. Because those, those whole um, rainbow trees are smooth. Like super smooth to the touch. So I would like this to read smooth, but colorful. Yeah. Should I zoom in a bit so you guys can see better what I'm doing? Alright. Pull it down. Because we're going to work on the antlers for a little minute here. And should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Um, assessing the lighting. I think it's alright. I'm pretty sure it's alright. Alright, so I'm just going to move this out of the way because it's blocking my hand. I'll just move the move it out of the way. Move it out of the way. All right. I'm gonna continue putting a layer of this brighter color crayon on top for like a more pureish feel. Yeah. And I don't want, maybe I don't want to do this right there. Maybe blue is a better choice. Or maybe both of them together. Okay. A little bit of water. My towel over here for dabbing. Really, that picked up a lot of color. Okay. Noted. A little bit there. What else? I don't want to lose my teal though, so I might. All right, I need this back where I can reach it because I'm gonna go back and forth the product now. This is this is the process right here for me um, to figure out what I want where. Yeah, it's much darker to me than it is on the camera. But my eyes, or is that me? Could be the lighting. For crying sake. I'm not interested in swatches on the dry paper. Come on. All right, I'm gonna stop overthinking. I'm just gonna. I'm overthinking. I'm I'm overthinking and over assessing right now. Which is not desirable. That's not terrible. And I have the window open. Uh, the noise changed. I just registered that the noise changed for you guys. Um, I have the window open because it's gorgeous out. It's 23 degrees, but the sun is shining in, so there's a weird balance of um, warmth and cool air coming through the window right now. This is the white, and then I'm going to go over the top of that with bright yellow. And then maybe, maybe just a mostly dry brush. Yeah, that's better to kind of soften it and drag it around. I didn't do this 
on the other pieces because the paper was super smooth. It was It's a Bristol paper on th this piece. And this kind of slides around on top of the paper instead of this one super textured. So it's um, showing that texture through kind of a lot. Which isn't a bad thing. It's just something to note while creating if we don't like it. Um, the next piece, maybe don't, don't do it this way. Now right, let's see. Look. I want this, piece, this line right here to shine a bit. Get that to shine a bit as well. How's it look? Are we digging this or not really? The process. You guys just let me know in the comments below if you prefer a long format video or a short format video. I will take that into account when creating for YouTube and maybe save my my long format stuff for for Patreon. Maybe patron then then people that want the long format stuff can go over to Patreon and um, sign up and draw along and stuff, paint along. Yeah, I like that. This layering is so nice. All right. I like how that grades out. That's pretty to me. I want to throw purple in here, but I didn't really use purple on the antlers, so I think it would look weird at this point. Right? We'll see. We'll see. We'll just keep going, plugging along. And this is what my hands look like when I'm when I'm doing this kind of thing. I tend to have too many things in my hand all at once, and. Um, for me, it's easier to switch from color to color than setting them on the table and picking them up and setting them down and picking them up. That's pretty. I dig it. Okay. Do a little over here. Really pushing down pretty hard to flatten that texture of that paper. If you have a highly textured paper, just push real hard and it'll fill the tooth of the paper. Keep in mind that once you do that, though, it's going to be hard to layer over the top. Yeah. I'm going to use the other end of this because I want to get on that line right there. But I don't want to cover all of the um, watercolor. I want it to peep through. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think a little bright yellow up here. Kind of drag it down over the top of that green and blue the situation I have going on over there. Digging this whole process. Okay, so white on top of that to soften it. And I will try to edit out the background noise. Um, I can't do that in Rush because it is kind of loud. I'm sorry if it bothers anybody. It's kind of an abrupt change from last night's quietness. But I think I started this at like <laughs> midnight last night. And uh, yeah. Good. I like the darkness of this. Throw some yellow right there. 
a little bit of this blue. And then white on top of that to kind of soften that blue color, make it look more turquoise. Soften that out, blend it into yellow. Nice. Do you like that? Let's zoom in more. Oh, you can actually see the textures, which I'm about to. This brush is barely wet, barely, barely wet. I've been holding it in my hand this whole time, and it's still damp enough to soften those textures. Super light hand. Dry that out this way. Pull the yellow in. You don't want it to turn green, you want it to stay yellow. Do we want to do much more to this one? I don't know. I don't think so. I like this. I don't want to go over it. But I do want it to be a little bit darker on the bottom. Lighter. And blend that out. To define that line a little bit. I'm going to take the damp brush and kind of lightly drag it across the top so that it blends in a bit. Like so. Cool. All right. And then on top of that yellow to kind of make this ridge pop a bit. There. Make a bit of white on top of that. smoother, more, almost, is it Sherbert color? I've been saying that a lot in my videos lately. Shooting for Sherbert. <laughs> it's a new game. Once again, I don't want to get rid of that turquoise. And you can sharpen these. If um, if you have these, you can sharpen them. Just um, maybe sharpen them over a palette so that your shavings go directly into like a watercolor palette if you have a spare one. And uh, I know I do. Even one of these little things is how you can get a palette to drop the shavings in because they're reactivatable. Is that a word? It is today. They reactivate with water, so I mean, essentially, you're creating a whole new watercolor palette, which you can use with these. It's more turquoise in here. I like it to be 
more pure. More pure color. So this is why I want to get the whole set of these, because I would like a pure turquoise in here. But I don't think it reads as pure turquoise. I know it doesn't over the top of the orange, but there. I wanted to brighten that up a bit. Yes. Okay, I dig it. There's a weird light spot right there that's throwing me off. dry a little. More pure. There we go. I think I'm done. Wait, I'm going to stop messing with that one because if I keep going on I feel like I'm going to ruin it. But I like where it's at so far. I'm going to zoom down. I'm zoomed way and too way far. There we go. You guys can't see the whole antler situation. There we go. Um, sorry about that. I'm going to now And a little blue there. A little there. Touch here. So right here. I'm going to drag that around. Super dry brush again. Dang, those cars seem really loud today. There we go. And then yellow. Yellow. Right here. Orange. Right here. Blending into that yellow. And a little bit of white to brighten that up a little bit. We did that. Kind of do, kind of do. All right, I'm gonna do just kind of soften this a bit. I need a bit of turquoise to throw in here. Like so. Good.
My turquoise kind of disappeared on the page a bit overnight. Not that I'm complaining. I just want it to be a bit more vibrant. So I'm going to throw on another layer. A bit quick, quick. I am really trying to be a little bit quick about this because I know it's super time consuming. Okay, like that. Touch, touch of water. I'm not getting enough pigment. Put your eyes. Um, I'm going to brighten up some of these oranges on this one. Orange again. Bit of shine here and there. Battery died. Had to change it out. And just keep going. Just gonna jump right back in. Cause I have a feeling this video is super long. I dig this yellow color very much pure, but when I put some white on it, and then the yellow over the top again, it's less terrible. It's just, it's just a little too, um, what do you call it? I just don't care for the tone of it. I like a more earthy yellow. Let's do a little more yellow on top of that orange. Yeah, there we go. Softens that. Softens that out the way I like it to be. Okay. Damn brush. Kind of smooth that surface a bit and meld them together. Yeah, I like it. All right. Just smoothing the surface where I've already put down color. I don't want to move it around too much. I just want to smooth it out a bit. Mm -hmm. Good. 
let's put in a touch of blue here. Next to it, we have that blue. Just to kind of blend into a turquoisey color. With a touch of shine. Got a lot going on in this little piece right here. Okay. Smooth that orange. Kind of blends the colors together in a way that I enjoy. Okay. Alright, let's take a look, see what they look like on camera. I'm digging this section a lot. Um, I'm going to leave this muted, these muted areas purposefully. I'm going to put a little more color on this skyline. Orange and then the yellow on top. I believe that is the actual colors too. Like the color names are pretty simple on these. Yeah, yellow, orange. Ooh, oh, you booger. Oh, right on the floor. I got it. Okay. And this one, well, this one's cobalt blue and then white are the colors that I've picked out of the selection for the antlers. And layering and blending them. Blending them out a little bit. Like that. I'm not really using a lot of water either. I'm just kind of brushing over the top, like I said, and then I want some, some more turquoise. Over there. 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 How does that look? Dig it. All right. And... It needs to be a little... Feel a little shinier. There we go. Maybe I'll leave the white shining on it. Yeah, we'll do that. Right there. There. Maybe here. A little bit of texture. It's too small right there. Okay. Got a straight line going on there. That's not what I wanted. A little bit of shine here and there. And a little bit right here. And here. I like it. On that edge. Maybe some through here. Like that. Okay. I think it. Alright, I'm going to zoom out. And there's our antlers finished. 
I like it. Now, I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to fuss too much with the fur. I really do like the um, the way the colors mixed and moved around. Where are you? Yep. There. One difference. You're digging that? Yes, we are. It runs that a little bit of um depth that I'm looking for. Good. Okay. This is just black. Cause I didn't I really don't want to add more line art to this. Cause I like the way it feels right now. But maybe some textures with the black will help. Yep. Oh, sorry, that was a really fast zoom in. <laughs> Just want. Ooh, I shouldn't spill that. My guess is good. 
what I'm playing at over here. Just adding a little bit of black texture over what's already here. And I'm digging the way it looks. Let me look around that corner. <laughs> Man, it, it was just ridiculous how fast they do it sometimes. All right, over the top of this. Let me see that orange on top. I don't want to blend it. I want that base color underneath to really pop through. Kind of blend a little bit of balance. Yeah, I dig that. Okay. Remember to not get carried away. Don't get carried away. Okay. textures, digging those textures. Yeah. Yep, yep. Does anybody else hate this part? Are you liking it? Are you liking the adding of the textures? Not so much. What are your thoughts? I'm interested to know. This is turning out, you guys. Almost done. Almost done. Getting to the end here. Getting to the end. I like that there. Just soften that one. Right in this area a bit. Let that, once again, let that. Um, base color peep through not covering the whole thing letting the texture of the paper do some of the work for me which is always delightful Brightens, brightens in and adds a little bit of interest without, without being too much. But then again, this whole piece could be too much for some people. <laughs> it's all about perspective. Okay. Sparkle. Kind of does make him look sparkly a little bit. Which I dig. Let's put some of that over here. Yeah. I dig it.
Some of this purple in here, too. Let's highlight this color that I used. This, this is over the Venetian red, and I think it's pretty effective. What do you guys think? Is it effective or is it detracting? Stop. I think I'm gonna stop fussing. I think a little texture on here. Yeah, I think that. I don't. I like that. Green. I don't know. Should we accentuate it? Should we leave it alone? Am I getting carried away? Yes. Yes, I am. Smooth and soften some of those colors out. Ah, my ankle. Purple ankle. All the things rainbowy. I was just thinking, this is a little too rainbowy for me. <laughs> Just soften it out a little bit. There. Get rid of some of those super bright colors. And blend it out a there we go. I don't know if I like this part. I got blue over here, which I'm not really digging all that much. Let me scrub it in a bit. It's from when I dropped that crayon. There we go. Yeah. 
like with water everywhere. All right. Um, what do you guys think? Are we in love with this? Do we hate this? Why? That wet. That's why I have to get wet because there's a droplet of water right there. Okay, no worries. We can pick it up. It's all right. There it is. All right. And then, because I just kind of ignored this ear part altogether, like the interior, unimportant to me. But now that I'm looking at it, it strikes me that I could use a little bit of attention. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna stop messing with it. <laughs> All right, so started with this as my inspiration for this guy. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. <laughs> I really had a lot of fun making this. I hope you guys had fun either painting along with me or, you know, overall watching me be super silly. And uh, yeah. I'm going to do a little close up so you can see textures. Are you ready? Do you have any more? No. You know what else I want to do? Real quick. Flat quick. Let's take them off the block. I use a palette knife for this. This is an old, I have a thousand palette knives. I don't oil paint, but I do use them for other things like <laughs> a sharp edge to unglue the uh, paper from the paper. Mm. Kind of at an angle and out. And then give it a spin. Mm. And at an angle and then out. And then on the other side. And out, and there we go. There is our piece. So lovely. Set that pad aside, and let's go way in on those antlers. Give you all those gorgeous rainbow tree antlers, you guys. And then there's our deer creature. Kind of looks like a dragon and a deer all at once to me. But overall, I'm super, super happy. And look at all those textures in that background. So this piece is highly textured. You don't have to do it this way. If you want a smooth background behind your, your, your deer creature and you want to use all kinds of different colors and techniques, uh, I'd be super interested to see how that turns out. Um, yeah, yeah, I really, really, really like this. Really, really a lot. <laughs> so excited. It turned out pretty much how I wanted it to. 
Uh, I went a little more fantastical than I'm, I meant to. I don't normally do that, but as you can see, I am breaking out of my comfort zone and trying to create more um, creatively. <laughs> create more creatively. Here is the desk and how it looks. All of our supplies, graphitants, colors, all the colors that we used. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now and sign off as a toilet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for painting along or watching. And yeah, bye.